What's up everyone, it's Dakota with Tarmi, and today I'm gonna to give you the single one and only video you need to understand how Power BI and PowerPoint work together. Two great Microsoft products, let's be honest, in a business setting, we're never really gonna get away from PowerPoint. It's a powerful storytelling tool, but Power BI, of course, does a lot of the same things faster and better. So moving from Power BI into PowerPoint, we're gonna embed live reports, live dashboards, have all that functionality in there. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm also gonna show you how you can very quickly export visuals and things back into your PowerPoint slides. And then moving from PowerPoint up into Power BI, I find it super useful to use the familiar PowerPoint interface, things like shapes, text boxes, things like that, to build containers and actually build your report design for your Power BI report. And of course, I took the opportunity here to give you my intro in a classic PowerPoint slide. Let's jump right in. All right, so to bring some Power BI dynamic reports into our PowerPoint presentation, let's start by going to the insert ribbon, simply make a new slide like we've all done in PowerPoint. And up here, you also have the Power BI icon. Click that once, and it's gonna prompt you for a URL to either your report or dashboard. And as well as if you are running this inside of an organization or your company, you can actually put a URL into a single visual associated with a visual in your app. Today, we're gonna to bring in a report. The concept is exactly the same. So I'm going to pop over into the report I wanna bring in. It's my stock screening dashboard set on Apple right now. And I'm gonna click export into PowerPoint and we've got two options, embed as an image and embed live data. This is gonna take us down a couple different roads, but let's focus on what we're doing right now. And that is we need the URL to our report. So I'm just gonna click copy here. I will come back and show what the open in PowerPoint does. I'm going to paste the URL to my report, press insert, and it is actually bringing an embedded tile with 100% of the functionality that we have in our report. You know, another way of saying that you have all of the drill down, drill up capability, you have the tool tips, the slicers work. If you have buttons embedded in your report like we do, jumping over into the Apple News Feed, you have that as well. And you have the clickable URL icon. So I just clicked uh, an Apple stock related news article from Market Watch and it just opened in my browser. I told you I'd show you what would happen if we also click the open in PowerPoint. Probably, depending on your browser, give you a prompt here. And that actually opened a sort of uniquely Microsoft formatted way of what we're doing uh, in the other screen. This is just another way to get to the same result. So I'm gonna close out of this without using it. And let's jump back here and let's kind of look at what we have to use here. So of course you've got the option to open a URL back into the report that you're looking at or the dashboard that you're using. You can see when the data was last updated you can click the down carrot here and that will get rid of this thumbnail. Just like in the Power BI service, you have open and close on the filters pane. And in this little icon here that looks like a little bar chart, you've got a reset button that will take you back to the way that your report was ultimately published. So that took, took us back to the beginning, kind of a restart button. Refresh, if you've got um, real-time data, that's going to bring it in if you've got, um, or if your data set is connected to the web, that's gonna work as well. Then you've got this data insights button, which will actually generate using Power BI's embedded uh, artificial intelligence capabilities. It's basically, it's gonna generate a narrative. And what it's doing here is it's giving me a summary of some of the visuals I have on my Apple stock screening dashboard. What's cool here is you can just simply in one click paste on slide and that will paste a text box here just in powerpoint for you to be able to use jump back over here and look at the paintbrush icon and i presume microsoft's going to add more in here but right now we've just got the outline functionality if you add that 
we get an outline on our Power BI embedded dashboard. You can change the color, you can change the thickness of the outline, the style of it, transparency, etc. All right, so the second part here is what if we don't want to embed an entire dynamic clickable report and we just want some of the visuals that we've made in Power BI? Let's jump back into our Power BI report and let's click a visual that has a visual header available. So the three ellipses on the right, if you click them and then click and then open in PowerPoint, this is going to bring in the single visual, just like we had just done with the entire report. And now we have a single visual. Again, let's exit out of that. Let's click the copy image with caption button and this will take a second. Okay, and it gives us a little summary of what it's exporting with the caption as well. If I click copy here, then I go back into my PowerPoint report, right click and paste, and it gives me where I pulled it from, and it gives me an actual image of the visual. And of course with this, it's not clickable, just like it would be with an embedded Power BI report but this would be useful for exporting different visuals that you just want to put on a static PowerPoint slide that you have. Okay, so our last bit here, this is PowerPoint assisting Microsoft Power BI. And what I like to use this for is I like to actually create the framework, create the containers for all of my visuals that I'm ultimately going to be creating in Microsoft Power BI. I find PowerPoint to be a little more flexible. You can uh, use different styles of shapes and text boxes in a little bit more of an easy way than you can in Power BI. You can totally get by in Power BI and make a perfectly fine looking report. I just think it's a little more flexible in PowerPoint. And there's a few little tricks that Microsoft gives us that ultimately shows us that the two applications are extremely similar. The first one I'll start with is if I just make a totally brand new slide, if I jump over to design, you can see that the standard slide size is a ratio of 16 to 9. Sorry, the widescreen is the standard is 4 to 3. So the standard is your kind of classic old PowerPoint view. I'm going to go back to widescreen here. And the new sort of default is the widescreen 16 to 9. And if you jump over into Power BI and you just make a new tab completely blank and go over into your Canvas settings, you're going to see that the default ratio is 16 to 9. So it matches perfectly. One thing that helps us with is if you have a bunch of visuals, you can very quickly take a snip of that, come over into Power BI, paste it in, and it's going to fit perfectly. So I'm going to duplicate this slide. I will delete it. But this is going to give me an idea of the kind of sizing I need. So you can come at it from both ways, a report that's already built or a report that you haven't built yet. If we're coming at it from a report from scratch, we obviously need to start with a background from scratch. So I'll right click, hit format background. And what we get here is a few different options. I'm going to click gradient fill and with gradient, it's all about a transition from one color to another. You have the option to add different gradient stops here to get as precise as you want when you're adjusting the shades of colors. You can add any color you want here. And I'm going to actually just delete this stop. And we'll go back to sort of a light blue to a dark blue. You have options here to change the direction that your gradients are moving. So in this instance, we're coming from a corner. You go back to the top here. And then of course you have transparency and brightness. To make a container, you hit insert, go into shapes. I'm going to grab the rounded corner rectangle, open that. It gives me that classic sort of boring looking blue with the standard office colors. I'm going to change the fill into a gray, go into gradient fill. I'm going to do one where we 
move from one corner to another, move my gradient stop right in the middle. You have some shape effects here, things like glow, I'll add a light glow. I'm going to eliminate the outline and soft edges, bevel. So soft edges can be kind of nice. If I got rid of my glow and I increased my soft edges, it sort of fades into the actual background of my slide here, which could be kind of interesting for uh, a different visual container that you want. Eliminating the soft edges here and adding a bevel. A bevel will really make that visual pop and the little yellow icon here will adjust your rounded corners. So I'll go a little more sharp here. Control C, Control V, we'll call this news articles, center it, white and bold, file, hit save a copy. And what we're gonna wanna do is change the file type down into a JPEG or a PNG. I'm gonna click PNG here, rename it to our news tab for our dashboard, press save. It'll give us the option to export all slides into the image or just one. We only want that one. And jumping back into Power BI here on our canvas settings, canvas background, go to image, navigate to your image, press open. Not sure why the default is a 100% transparency, but back that off to zero. And I've pasted in a visual here and I will resize the article title so everything fits a little nicer. Make sure your background under your formatting here, under general effects and background is off. So it blends into the back here. And bringing in one more visual, again, the background is transparent. And now they're formatted nicely into our containers. And just like that, we've brought in a very custom background to our canvas that makes our report more well organized using PowerPoint. So we walked through a few different things today. And as of right now, this is the extent that I have found of the relationship between Microsoft PowerPoint and Power BI. Of course, both applications, very useful for an analyst or for a business owner. And it's important to know how they work together because different people like different things. And I hope you learned something in this video and uh, encourage you to check back soon. We're adding videos every week and we're here to help you learn. So thanks for, thanks for watching.